Friends, let us see management of a hypermature Morgagnan cataract. This patient came with very high intralenticular pressure. Pressure was between 60 and 70 millimeter of mercury. With medications, the pressure came down to 34 millimeter of mercury and then I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe this surgery. The jonule is very weak in this case. By this time, the main incision and a side port on the left side of the main incision has been made. And this is another side port at around 8 or 5 o'clock. And now, a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. The air bubble uh, breaks into many air bubbles. This is tripan blue. 0.06% dye to stain the anterior capsule and the dye is washed out with BSS and we can see some white specks on the anterior capsule this is this is because of degeneration of the lens matter this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. The anticapsule is incised at the center. And see what happens. Milky fluid comes out. I use a Simcoe cannula to aspirate this milky fluid. And then after aspirating this milky fluid, in this case the cortex epinucleus has been totally degenerated into a milky fluid. And then 2% ASPMC is injected and then I take a uterata forceps. Hold the capsular tag with the uterata forceps go anticlockwise so far it is okay now see what happens as I go near six o'clock I feel some resistance and here the resistance is so much that it tends to cause genular dialysis what to do now here I stop inject some visco and then do this small stab incision at around 7 o'clock and ask for a iris hook apply the iris hook it pulls the rexis margin towards 7 o'clock and this will offer some counter resistance, some counter traction and rexis will be possible. It will be done safely now. Here, as I am pulling at this point, the iris hook is pulling in the opposite direction, that is counter traction and this rexis has become possible. So this is a very uh, nice technique. Whenever you find that the, uh, if you pull the capsule, there is a tendency of genular dialysis, always apply an iris hook to cause this counter traction. And now see that brown small thing is the nucleus. So everything has turned into a milky fluid in this case and this is a very tiny nucleus what I do is I put the irrigation through the left side port take the keratome depress the posterior lip after making a small cut and it comes out depress the posterior leaf and whole milky fluid comes out and in this case I don't find any cortex so what I do is I 
apply this 2% HPMC and then implant the lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and it has gone into the capsular bag. And now before aspirating the visco, I am removing the iris hook. It has done its job. So we can remove this now. And now I use uh, Simco for removing the visco from anterior chamber as well as from the capsular bag. And this was done very thoroughly. Uh, in this case, I don't find any cortex anywhere. And if there is cortex, we have to be very careful in aspirating the cortex because always the jonul is very weak. Now here I find that the lens is decentered. So, I have planned to put a CTR, capsular tension ring, and that will center the lens to a great extent. You can see the lens has shifted uh, super nasally. So, let us see what happens after applying this CTR. The CTR is, is being applied with the help of a Macpherson's forceps and in my left hand is a uh, another forceps, a tooth forceps. Uh, here I fold near the trailing eyelet and now I take a Sinsky hook, put the prong of the Sinsky hook in the eyelet and the it goes suddenly into the capsular bag. Just slipped and fortunately it went into the capsular bag. And now, as I remove the visco and dial the lens, I find that the lens is getting nicely centered. So, if in such cases, if you find that the lens is decentered, it means you should put a capsular tension ring to center the capsular bag and then the lens will be automatically centered nicely. This patient did very well. We are going to see some post-op pictures. So please keep watching till the end of the surgery. Visco was nicely removed with the help of bimanual IA and at this time I could find some lens fibers Sub in, in the sub incisional area, and this is great. And this is a very uh, nice way. The side ports are hydrated, and antimer was nicely formed. And this is dexamethasone in the anterior soft tenons space. I hope this will keep the anterior chamber quiet. Yes, let us see the post-op pictures. The anterior chamber is quiet, cornea is clear, people is round, eye will is very nicely centered. And this is the optic nerve head. It looks nice. This is the macula. It also looks nice. So it has been a very satisfactory result. And patient could read 6 by 36, two lines unedited. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will give some important tips in doing rexis with weak genual. Thank you once again very, very much.